Today I'd like to welcome Duncan Cooper from the Gimpy Motor Group uh, to our conversation. Welcome aboard, Duncan. Thanks, Simon. Thanks for coming in. No Mate, be before we start, uh, taking over the business in Gimpy from Action Motor Group, now yep. Gimpy Motor Group, yep. uh, got such brands as Kia, Subaru, yep. Nissan, Ford, yep. um, some, some key, key brands yep. there. Uh, but uh, taking over a business that was established for 17 years yep. um, and now rebranding it. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about uh, your background in terms of coming from the metro markets, yep. moving into Gympie and taking on that whole process. Well, thanks, Simon. Well, uh, we, we saw the business as an opportunity. The manufacturers contacted us um, to take over the business. I was in a situation where it was uh, probably to the point where it might have been run down a little um, with, with not the best reputation. So we looked at it as an opportunity. Obviously, the best time to buy a business is, is when it's not going well. Yeah. So we saw an opportunity and we saw Gympie as a, as a uh, market where we think it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow in yeah. this area yeah. um, with the influx of people coming from down south like myself, up to the yeah. region. Um, but we needed a strategy to, to go in with, um, so we had a direction that we needed to take the business. Yeah. One of that was we felt was best to rebrand the name. So yeah. we called it Gimpy Motor Group. Um, and uh, we've been on track with that, rebranding it, looking after the locals we felt was the best way of, of getting into the community, uh, yeah. and they would look after us. So yeah. we got uh, on board with uh, yourself and, and the paper, and strategized a uh, plan and, and uh, that's where we're going. It seems to be going quite well at the moment. Okay, fantastic. Now breaking into a market after 17 years or that's mm -hmm. already had a, a foothold for 17 years. Tell me a little bit around your experience with radio in the past and now using that experience to go, you know what, it, it's one of the best mediums to use to, to actually build that brand for you. Yep. Well, I think everyone sort of turns on and off different, different marketing um, avenues and I think there's one consistent thing that the radio is quite consistent um, it yeah. gets the message across yeah. um, so I've always found that in the past whether it be in Sydney Brisbane um, probably the best form of marketing to me um, mm -hmm. I mean where do you advertise on TV these days mm -hmm. there's that many channels I watch Netflix mm -hmm. um, so that that makes it hard for me so I sort of tend to stay away from that and obviously the expense of that and mm -hmm. tend to go for radio and um, I tend to find it gets me a better better cut through Okay. Yeah. And what was it about zinc? I know in terms of our coverage area through yep. there, but again, it, it's uh, it's not just the coverage area. It's what we do on the ground. What what drew you to that brand? I, s I looked at it, and obviously being new in, um, I went through the radio stations on my car, and, yeah. and um, it seemed to be the the, the natural choice, um, having the market share you got. But I felt that the biggest thing for me, and for me in business, is the relationships that we built. Yep. Um, Brandy come along, which is your, obviously yeah. one of your guys, yeah. and um, it wasn't so much a sell, it was more of a partnership. Yep. So I found that was quite good, and to me that's important because that's what I want in business.